Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a stylized a wood block wall uh, here in Substance Designer. And one of my favorite uh, notes in Substance Designer is the uh, tile sampler node. So I'm going to be using that to create the main shape of the logs. And I'm going to duplicate that and make the uh, shape for the locks that come out. I will reset some of the settings here. And I'm essentially going to mix these two. Uh, one thing I do want to do is I want to mask the locks so that they don't show up where the uh, horizontal locks go. And so I'm trying a few things here with the masks. Um, turns out this is not going to work, so I'm going to try a different method in a second here. So I didn't like the results for that, so I'm just going to make a different tile sampler node and use this as the mask uh, where the logs will not go. So I just want the horizontal um, logs to go there and I'm just going to offset them a little bit so that they go more between the um, the horizontal ones. Obviously I'm going to connect this to the normal map and I'm going to add height map to this so that it's more noticeable. And one thing I do want to do is I want to change the variation of the locks so I use the warp on that. And then we also want to add some wood fibers. So I'm just going to use that. I'm going to keep it really simple since this is a stylized uh, material. So I'm just going to add a anisotropic noise and warp it just to get the uh, fibers out of that. And I'm going to blur those out so that they're not too sharp. And then for the color, I'm going to use the curvature smooth map. And then just kind of choose some colors here for the wood. I usually go really saturated for stylized uh, materials, so I'm also going to use a HSL hit node here too. And then I want to add some variation to the actual log that comes out, so that it looks more appropriate for what it is. Since this is stylized, I'm going to keep it mostly sharp. And then I'm going to use the splatter circular here to get some of the um, some of the edges that go uh, in between. I didn't spend too much time with this. Um, like I said, because this is stylized, I don't think we have to go too in depth uh, creating this type of um, detail. But obviously, I do recommend you spend more time on it. And then one thing I want to do is I want to add more variation to the um, edge. So with that I'm just going to use a slow blur. And then I'm going to exaggerate one of them. And then I still wasn't too happy with the color. I think there's too much baked lighting. So I want it to be a little bit closer to PBR than the then hand painted, just so I'm just trying to get rid of some of the uh, ambient occlusion on this. And then I do want to have, I want to have uh, some kind of dirt or something that comes through the locks. I was thinking maybe this is like a retainer type of wall that's being used and so there's like dirt or maybe would have been would have made more sense if I used uh, pebbles or something or rocks large large rocks and then I do want to get some plants uh, for this because I just didn't think it looked that great with just the dirt and for that I'm going to use a tile sampler to get a lot of this in here 
and then I'm going to mask it so that the locks are masking uh, that spot so that they don't show up on top and they're just coming through underneath uh, the locks but they are on top of the uh, dirt so there's just a little bit of overgrowth going on And then I'm just going to mask it and I'm mostly going to use an HSL just to change the colors instead of creating a new gradient out of it. And here I'm just going to test uh, the look of the greens that come out. I think the really thick looking ones look pretty good. And also for the uh, height map I'm going to change the height so that the, the locks come out a little bit more. So I think this is looking pretty good. And again I just want to uh, change a few things with the, with the wood, make it a little bit brighter. And I decided to even use these um, the fibers and just apply it on top just so that they're more noticeable. Then here just testing uh, the color of the green growth, uh, but I think the original would look fine. Uh, one last thing I want to do is I want to add some more damage to the wood locks. So I'm going to use the slow blur and uh, blend it with the regular one. But only a little bit. I find that slow blur, if you use it too much, it just becomes too obvious that you've been using the slow blur node. Then finally the height, I mean not the height, the roughness, I'm going to use the height uh, for that and then just make it less shiny. And I'm going to mask some of the other, um, I'm going to mask the uh, overgrowth and the dirt. And just so that there's a dif there's difference in the roughness between the different materials, so you don't want the uh, wood to have the exact same roughness values as the greens for example, just because it's more interesting if they are slightly different. So there we go, I think this is pretty much it for the uh, material. Again, it's a really stylized type of material and, um, and I think it came out pretty good for a stylized material. Uh, so this is the final render, uh, this is a marble set tool pack obviously, and um, anyway if you guys have any questions make sure you uh, post them below, and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe, and if you like the video make sure you hit the like button, and I will see you in the next video. Do you see this environment right here? I made this really quickly using Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter and Substance Designer and Unreal Engine. You too can make something like this really easily and in a short period of time. To make an environment like this one, all you have to do is make a few simple props, put them together in the reel, and then simply add some lights and you're pretty much done. So hey, this is only a 45 second ad, so there's not enough time for me to cover everything. So click on the link below now and I will show you exactly how I made this environment. The best thing about learning how to make an environment like this one is that you can simply use the same techniques to pretty much make any other type of environment. Oh, and by the way, you don't need to be an expert already in order to learn how to make something like this. You can follow along without any prior knowledge. I will be showing you the basics on how to use Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, Substance Designer, and Unreal Engine. 
so you can follow along without any issue. Like I said, this is a very short video, so I don't have enough time to explain everything. So click on that link below and I will show you exactly how this is done. And by the way, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this for, so click on that link now so you don't miss out.